Hey guys, what's up? Today I wanted to talk about this lawnmower. It's the Skag Turf Tiger 61 inch. This is a 2009, 2008, 2009 model. It's got the Kawasaki 29 horsepower gas motor. And we have used this thing, abused it, all the above. But at the end of the day, this is one excellent machine. I've made several videos over our Kubota ZD1211 and I've had a few honorable mentions of this mower here and I figured today would be a good day just to go over a few things I like about it and let y'all know what our experience has been like with it. As I just said, that Kawasaki 29 horse V-Twin, it's an absolute tank of a motor. It just keeps going. Um, we've never had any trouble out of the motor itself, no mechanical trouble. We've had a few little electrical things, but other than that, it's rock solid. We also have a, I think it's a 97, 96, 97 model John Deere Gator. Oh, there it is right there. And it's got a Kawasaki V-Twin in it as well. And that thing just keeps on going, so can't say enough good things about that Kawasaki V-Twin. It's a very impressive, very strong, reliable motor. Super reliable. The seat is pretty good. It doesn't have as much cushion as the Kubota's, but I'm sure they've addressed that by now. But uh, it's a nice, big, wide, comfy seat. Now, maintenance on this mower is pretty easy to perform. You've got your covers over the end pulleys on the deck there. You've got this trap door to where you can get to all those pulleys and grease them up and all that. It makes it real easy to get to. Your air filters just right there, super easy to get to. And you've got your radiator cover right here that you can take out, clean off, whatever. And then you just slip it back down into the channel there. Your battery is super easy to get to. Now, the electrical problems we've had have been from the starter solenoid and in this fuse right here. This is where we've had the most electrical problems out of that out of this mower but that's a pretty easy fix it's just right there 20 amp fuse super easy to get to I need a new fuel cap at this point the gauge fell off of it just like on the Kubota I've got the uh, clipping chute opened up and that's just that makes the clippings exhaust a lot easier the front tires they always went flat I mean, they always got damage to them real easy. You can see that chunk missing out of the center of that one. So what we did, we took it to a company that actually fills those with a urethane, I think it's like a urethane foam or gel or something. Anyways, these tires are now rock solid and heavy as crap. They're so heavy, but we don't have to worry about flats every time we get on it so that's a plus i'm not a big fan of the rollover protector on this mower on the kubotas it actually you can swivel them down pivot them down this one it's just rigid it's hard mounted to the frame i don't ever take this thing on any crazy hills or anything so i could probably just remove it whenever i want but I just never got around to doing that. The rear tires are pneumatic, so there's air in those. Um, I think we might end up filling those up with that gel stuff and, and making those solid as well. I don't know exactly how many hours we've put on this. Let's see. So this mower's got 936.9 hours since 2008-2009. We have just absolutely used this thing like no other. We mow about 
10 to 14 acres. And it's just been a good solid workhorse. I do have a complaint about the pulley bearings. Even though we keep them greased, we keep them greased pretty well. They do seem to go out a lot more often than other mowers. The Kubota's pulley bearings, none of them have gone out yet. And that's three and a half, four years into ownership of that one. This mower, we've replaced, I think, just about every pulley on the deck at least once. So they do go out. They get, they get a lot of dirt and stuff in them over time, but that's to be expected. And we just chalk that up to maintenance whenever it does happen. So no big deal. Most times this thing leaves a better cut than our newer Kubota. And it also does a better job at edging on this side of the deck. If you do it right, you have minimal weed eating after mowing. So I do like using this mower for edging and getting closer into objects or whatever. It definitely helps out with weed eating times. And you can see it's we're mowing Bahia and a bunch of weeds out here. So it's... It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good machine. I mean, as far as reliability goes, it doesn't get much better than that. What, 10 years, 11 years into ownership and hardly any major issues other than pulleys. The blades that we run on it, we do not run the factory blades. We run the gator blades on this. On the Kubota, we run uh, the factory stock blades. The gator blades do better on this for some reason, but um, the factory blades, they're just so so skinny, so thin, light. they're a lighter gauge metal. Oh look, who do we have here? Zoe's going to help us out today. So anyways, that's my thoughts on the machine. It's been really good to us over the years, and I guess we're just going to keep running it until the wheels fall off. And whenever that happens, we'll just probably throw on a new set of wheels and get to cutting again. So let's check out some footage of it doing its thing, and y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.